Did you know that the European Central Bank creates its own video games? This is a fact. A fact that was pointed out to me by uh, a few of my Patreon supporters that the European Central Bank website has video games on it, like this one. Economia, the monetary policy game. Ever wonder what monetary policy is or how key interest rate affect inflation? Play Economia and find out how it works. Your goal, keep inflation low and stable at just under 2%. Your tool, the key interest rate. Oh, this, this what, why have any of you even bothered to even look at something like Battlefield 1 when clearly Economia is going to be game of the year? So uh, full disclosure, and um, it's loaded. Full disclosure, I've not actually played any of these yet. Uh, at all. There's four I'm going to go through today. Three on this website and one on another one. And, uh, basically all the AAA games have come out. And you're probably sick of seeing the AAA games and we get download codes and they're taking forever to download. So this is just like a bit different. We'll just go through this quickly for today's video. First up, Economia with our, look at this wonderful cast of characters. There's Greg Davis, uh, Fandango, a newsreader from England, uh, Morticia Adams, Jesus Christ, your nan, stock photo of a nerd, and Big Brother contestant. All your favourite e EU. Is this what the EU actually looks like? This is the EU. When people are like, oh, the EU have said this. This is actually the photograph of the people who currently run all of Europe. Makes a lot of sense. Right. Shall we enter? Sure. Right. Please enter your name. It should be three characters or more. Suck it, if your name happens to be Bo. Uh, we will be... Uh, uh, Basil, ba uh, Basil Learnington, Basil Learnington, and we are 81 years of age. Okay, let's start. Calculating start scenario. It's, oh god, was that like jokey loading things? Oh Jesus H Christ! Be great if this game was like ridiculously deep and complicated, wouldn't it? Okay, keep inflation just under two percent and stable. See how inflation and other factors change here. Set the key interest rate. Raising it will push inflation down. Lowering it will push inflation up. It takes a while for interest rate change to have an effect. Okay, so raising the key interest rate will push inflation down. So the higher this is, the lower inflation goes. So we control this one, and inflation rate is what we're trying to sort out. Got it. Right, I've had a look at indicators. Oh, Jesus H. Maths, what is this? Money growth in recent quarters is shown on the left. If this accelerates, it will push inflation up after some time. Other panels show inflation and product growth in the coming quarters. They will change if you move the interest rate slider. Okay, my team. That's my team. Fandango has something to say. I wonder what this means. Economic activities increase further. You're on a roll, but don't push your luck. Okay, what does the newsreader say? I heart Basil Huntington. Apparently his dick really likes me. This is all very encouraging. Infl what the fuck have I found? Inflation is still under 2%. That's not easy to do at all. Keep it up and you'll get the cup. Okay. Just under 2% is what we're going for. Jesus has no words of wisdom here. Right. We've got the press review. Apparently the press. Uh, price is stable. Central bank relaxed. Oh, we can just move these around. Uh, no, 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 no. Stock market steer as economy rebounds. I've already sorted it. I've been on the job for a day and I've sorted it. Right, so this is, I assume, the actual game thing. We don't want to cover up some of the EU. Uh, all right, how do we do any of this? Oh, hang on. Oh, I can put more things on the graph. There's product growth. There's unemployment. There's money growth. Okay, right. Let's click OK and see what happens. Good. Right. Oh, God, everything's gone wrong. Press release. That's it. Oh, there we go. Inflation rise. No big deal, say experts. No interest rise changes. The economy ticks over. Eurozone economy ticking over nicely. My team. Oh, hang on. It's the stock thingy. Yes, great. Money growth is stable and okay. Fucking Civilization 6. This isn't. Big Brother contestant. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, inflation's gone up slightly. If it says to continue like that, you may need to put up the interest rate. Okay, so I guess we just carry on then. Wow, look at this. It's all become one big straight line. Can't turn these two off. I guess I'd, I'd do it. Hang on, wait. Yeah, it's, well, it's a bit over. The inflation rate is a little bit over, isn't it? Maybe I should put that up to bring that down or something. Inflation rates. Whoops! Oh, my God. What does a flood do? Okay, food prices are rising. Right, we're going to put the interest rate up to 3%. Oh, it's a risky maneuver. We've got we to get that inflation rate down. Bringing it down. Bringing it down. It took a few years, but bringing it down. Shush, I can do better than that. I'm doing better than that. Look. Boom. We're getting back in now. Stock market has crashed. Good. I may have, I, Maybe that was a bit too hard and fast there. Right, so there. That's, got, that's gone wrong. 
It could go down now, it's still gonna go up a bit, so I'm gonna whack this up to there. I'm gonna whack this up. Fuck it, 25 at the Yeah, let's just do just well for one year, just 15% interest rate. Alright, so ready? But something fucked off my graph. Okay, well this has gone wrong. How do I I need to Okay, well I can't. I've bro I've broken it. My slider's useless now. Tw setting a 25% interest rate just didn't do a good thing. Right, I guess we'll just continue with the 25% interest rate. Let's have a look what the team has to say at this point. Alright, what have you what have you done? Make sure we can all sleep better. Okay. Check inflation, make sure you can keep it just under two percent. You know what? I've been trying. I've been trying, stock market people. International tensions have eased. Oh, apparently we hadn't oh Jesus. Have I actually been destroying the world? Okay, well let's uh keep this going. Uh-huh. I think that's the end of the game, because it stops there. I did it. Well, not exactly yeah, okay. Well look, twenty eight point oh five percent. Not a great interest rate, I'll be perfectly honest, but it could be worse. It could be 28.10%, you know, a thing. So, I fucked that up. Although the inflation average there is only 6%, so not bad, not a lot. Everything's gone off the graph. Uh, unemployment, unemployment's still on the graph. Unemployment came skyrocketing back down, so there we go, I did something. I got some people jobs that I lost with my random clicking of buttons. Um, all in all... I'll bug at that, actually. I've, I have no qualifications. I don't know why they put me in this position. Anyway, no stars. I've got... Oh, I've got some music playing now. Yeah, add to Hall of Fame. Okay. There you go. I'm going to send the result. Yay! Oh, here's some Ricardo. Look at these, look at these guys with their scores. Oh, my God. Rica Ricardo really wanted the top spots. Jesus. Well done you, Ricardo. Anyway, that was Economia. Yeah? The <laughs> military policy game. Let's now have a look at a different game. Oh, nothing's happened. That might be better. Okay. Wow, this is a full screeny one. Top floor. Make your way up. Name. Uh, Basil. Apologetic. Is that how you spell apologetic? It's got Apollo in it. So that must be right. And his age is 82 now. That whole five-year span he just did was one year. He, he ages in Simpsons years. Oh, we're washing down now. And we're at the bottom. The ECB, European Central Bank's governing council has decided to meet on interest rates for the euro area. Your mission: collect the seven briefing documents and deliver them to the council. Right? Okay. Uh, to get a document, you must answer a question correctly. Oh, for fuck's sake! To start, choose a lift to take you to the top floor. Okay. Right. Oh god, this. Oh, there's a guy. I saw a guy just running along there. History, people, institutions, the euro, facts and figures, potluck. I'm going for potluck. There's no way in hell I know anything about any of these things. What, is this elevator going to like crash into the ground? Okay. Welcome aboard. Call my clothes if you need them. But remember, the quicker you answer, the more points you get. Ready for the first question? Okay. The Banco de España is an ECB shareholder. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to do an exam I haven't studied for. Uh, true. Yeah. There we go. We're going to learn stuff today, motherfuckers. Yeah, the Banco de España is an ECB shareholder. The capital of the ECB comes from National Central Bank's NBC. NCB is not NBC, it's a very different thing. Of all EU countries. And NBC's NPV. Oh, fuck everything. Yeah, look, there's learning. Get a document. I've got a document. Apparently, it was hidden behind a question. What the absolute fuck? Why is that guy there? I don't know what's happening. Finish the sentence. The ECB's governing council has introduced the non-standard measures during the crisis to support the transmission of interest rates. You know when you went into school and you did like that class that wasn't really a class. It was called like fucking socials, socials or something. I can't... Shut up your phone. The bank is calling me. There's always that, that like class that just isn't actually a thing and it has questions like this and you just don't know. Apparently there's non standard measure during the crisis to curb ri that curbing risk seems like a good thing. Oh, I was wrong. They're going to support the transmission of interest rate decisions to the economy. Right, I want to point something out. It's 7am. I've been up for about 15 minutes and I don't even know what any of these words mean right now. Oh god, we have to get one right. The harmonised index of consumer prices measures changes in the prices of customer goods and services, the fairness of consumer prices, and how many shoppers buy the same item in the same shop at the same time. What? I'm gonna guess not that one. The harmonized index of consumer prices. Well, consumer prices, this has prices. Uh, index would be for, I don't know, it wouldn't be changes? It doesn't measure change if it's just indexing. They're not gonna go for the fairness. That's more of a compare thing, because there's an index and you can look it up. 
It changes. You named that wrong, you dummy, you fucks. You've arrived at the Eurosystem floor! How many of the Eurosystem central banks do you know? <laughs> like, I like to think I have a pretty okay understanding about how the EU works. Detail like this is not in my brain. It's not. I, I don't think I could Google the answers to these questions. Oh my god. What, so I just click a thing. What's this? Central Bank of Ireland. Oh, my learning things. Is this not questions? This is learning. Central Bank of Ireland. Okay, what's this one? S yes, Finland's bank. Good. What are you? Uh, what? Tan Tallinn. What the hell is Tallinn? What? Ca what? That's not a cut. They've had, they've added that one in. There's no country there. They've made that up. What are you? They made this one up as well. Cyprus. Cyprus is over there. We all know from bully that geography not my hot spot. What was the former currency of Slovakia? <laughs> I don't want to phone a friend. Oh, the cool thing's gone. Oh, Chris Tarrant doesn't even like me. Right. So, what was the former currency of Slovakia? Anyone know? Does anyone know? <laughs> uh, right, Slovak pound, but marker, that sounds like an actual currency thing. The Corona, I, I recognise Corona, but I don't think Corona's with Slovakian. And that's Corona as well. See, my usual uh, multiple choice answer thing says to go for Corona because it's mentioned more than once. That tends to be a thing. But a marker just sounds like an actual thing. It was the Corona, you see? I'm always right, even when I'm wrong. <laughs> Which is the ECB's main decision-making body? The executive board? The Senate of Soothsayers? Oh shit, I'm gonna answer that. Oh my god, I wanted that to be right with all my heart. There's just, I've got like people in vats of water and like stuff stuck to their head. I'm like, what do you see? That's how I thought the European banks worked, but apparently it's the uh, governing council. So there you go. How many people live in the Euro area? Oh, can I crank, can I crank this dial up? Uh, well, I'm gonna guess it's that one, because it's always C. 502, what's the, what's the Euro area include? So we've got, we've got like 60, 70 million in the UK. Is that in the Euro area? I don't know, I don't think so. I'm going for that one. Piece of shit. How much money flowed through the Euro system's target two payment system in 2011? I feel like I'm applying for a job on this website in a really weird way. Uh, yeah, it was th three, 31,000 euros. That was it. Million, billion, trillion, trillion. Right. Shush. I can't go click you. Oh, what was that? Target 2 transfers money between all the central banks and commercial banks in the euro area. So that's all the bank's money. Tick, tick, tick. Uh, what else? Large value operations in your thing carry about some systems also go via T2. So think two. Big. Tick, tick. The average value, okay, right, the average daily value of its payments was 2.4 trillion! Okay, so two, what's two times 300? 600. Boom. Thank you, Mr. Phone Man. I mathed to that one, right? Hello, giant lady! May I have a document? Oh god, I made it to the top floor. What's in the top floor? I got two. Oh, I can't, get, I can't generate a top floor access code! Oh my god, I want to get to the top floor access code. And to do that, we must learn. Actually, I'm gonna have that top of the phone, because fuck it. Alright, let's actually pick a better elevator. Potluck didn't do me very good. Facts and figures I'm gonna know shite about, as well as the euro, because that's gonna be things like, how many euros can you fit in a dog's mouth or something? History, I think I'm gonna be a lot better at than most things. People institutions, if it's people that are around now, I may actually know. Still gonna go for that one. Oh, I'm hitting my drink over. Right. Uh, which year was the ECB established? 1997, 1998, 1999, 2001, 2003. Ooh, big jump, big jump, big jump. Middle one, go for the middle one. Boom! Multiple choice! This here, this is my face right now as I try and deal with all this. What does the ECB stand for? It's the European Central Bank. Oh, I know that one! Three seconds, give me a million points, please. Uh, hello. You... Okay, I'll, I won't help you with any of that. I'll just, uh, steal this top one. I enjoy this two people because this guy looks like he's trying to take a, a cheeky shit. Who from the Central Bank of Ireland sits on the ECB's governing council? This is one I don't know. Uh, the governor of the Central Bank of Ireland, the minister for finance of the Central Bank of Ireland, or the chief economist? Well, that's not capitalised. That guy go fuck itself. I'm going to call a friend of 50-50. Come on. Thank you. Boing, oing, oing, tier two. It's a central bank that's independent from political influence. 
Ah, so not a minister, a, a governor, I assume it may be a thing. Chief economist, but all these two are governmently things. So, governor! Look at me. Look at me knowing things. Bueno, Gorin, Gorin. Hello, you've come for the monetary analysis, my baby. But we. Oh my god. What kind of lunatics work in the ECB? What are we learning here today? It's filled with absolute bloody lunatics. Can I have this thing, please? Yes, that's some information that I'm not going to read. It'll probably be answers to later questions, but oh well. Right, this is the uh, map of things again, so we can click on stuff and be like, oh, it's the, <laughs> the Bank of Greece. Thumbs up. What is France Perez Ren, whose image is on the Slovenia's $2 coin famous for, two euro coin famous for? Romantic poetry, classical music, Olympic success. Uh, shush your face. Slovenia's two euro coin. Romantic poetry. What have we, what's Slovenia ever done? I don't think Olympic success. You don't like, if it was an old Olympian, probably not. Classical music and romantic poetry I go through. I've never heard of that name ever. So I would say probably not classical music, possibly romantic poetry. I'm not super into poetry. Well, there we go then. How often does the ECB's governing council meet? Once a week, once a month, twice a month, once a quarter? No idea. Phone man, give me the answer. Oh, thank you. He did. No. Uh, your interest rates are only half the story. What? The council's interest rate decisions are announced every month. So, what, once a month? Okay, now you're, just, now you're just looping. So once a month is when they announce their things. So, once a month? I will find you, Mr. Phone Man, and I will insert that phone inside of you. And I'm talking through the nostril. What was the European Monetar Monetary Institute? I don't know. Forerunner of the ECB. Well, that makes sense. Monetary political. Well, it was, so sort a of thing. A banknote research centre. I know. Mr. Phone Man, are you going to betray me this time? It was a transitional body. Okay, so it was like a vacant champion. Monetary policy think tank, banknote research centre, a forerunner. Maybe there was a thing, and then there was this, and then there was the ECB. There we go. Hello there, Tumblr person. Yes, I'll take the thing. Thank you. Yes, I'm going to put it in my... I'm going to totally read that, I promise. And she's gone. Who gives a shit? The ECB's governing council is made up of the governors of the Euro area's country's national central banks. Let's read that again, but try and make sense of it. The See, it sounds like that. I'll read it and my brain goes, I did not take that in. Didn't take that in. The ECB's governing council, the governing council of the ECB, is made up of governors of the Euro area's country's national central banks. That bit there, Euro area's countries, national central banks. So the national central banks of the Euro area countries. So the governing council is made up of those. Uh, yes, because we found out earlier that governor was the thingy, so true. No, apparent. <laughs> governor of the Bank of Ireland or something wasn't, wasn't that a thing? I remember that being a thing. And we're at the top bloody floor so we can just show off our failure for four documents in my fucking book. We'll never see what the secrets of the top floor are, because I'm too much of a dumbass. The third and final game of the ECB is Inflation Island. How inflation affects the economy. A few problems I have with this already. Like, one, we've already covered how inflation, like, affects things. This feels like they're focusing too much on one thing, you know? This is just, this was like a rehash. Two, this is a planet, not an island. That's, <laughs> that's quite obvious. Three, how, what is this plane doing? Why would you have invented air travel when you could just, like, walk anywhere in the world? Why none of the... Why, the helicopter isn't in parallel. That helicopter is going to crash into these buildings. Like, it's just... Gravity's pulling it down here, so it's going to go... Actually, it's going to go into these buildings. It's going to go... That crane's going to fall out. All this is going to be destroyed. Maybe we have to inflate it so it's a proper planet. I don't know. But I'm going to click the thing and find out. Oh, good God. Explore the island or test yourself. Hmm, I'm going to test myself, because I want to know what's up. What do you know about inflation? Would you recognise it? Choose a scenario to continue. I'm going to go for hyperinflation, because that sounds fun and hyperactive. Your job is to identify hyperinflation in the different areas of the island. Go to each area and find the markers. Each marker will display four statements. Select the statements you think matches hyperinflation. <gasps> a little map shows the areas you've been to. <laughs> just a little map. Just a little teeny tiny teeny tiny. Right, I'm in the Ministry of Finance, where all oh, this lady is being offered a dildo for some reason. What's your uh, thing there? 
The government has decided not to increase taxes, so we would ask employers and unions to agree on moderate wage increases. I appeal to the central bank to make another cut in interest rates. That would help get the economy moving again. Salaries of all civil servants are going to be tripled. I have instructed the central bank to add three zeros to each banknote. That sounds like hyperinflation. Hyperinflation is when everything just goes way. <laughs> That's probably a reason why I'm not making a bank game about inflation, because it'd be like, inflation is when the bank goes way. Right, selected my two things. I'm going to check to see if my choices were correct. Yes, they were. Minister of Finance was definitely right. Right, to the campus. Oh shit, was that to check everything? Well, it doesn't fucking matter. You, right. I'm now taking another part-time job. I don't think I can cope with my studies if this continues. Possibly. My professors don't teach anymore. Um, think there's something in the black market. I've got several part-time jobs. Soon, and less and less soon I've been asked to pay in food. Probably that one. Actually, that just sounds like a standard university student. <laughs> right, I've selected my choices. And now there's just homeless people just dying everywhere. Um, good, nice. Let's go to the financial district and check more happy fun times. Oh, there's an arrow. What does the arrow do? The arrow is taking us to this man here. Look how happy he is. We can't really cut our interest rate any further because it's already very low. We will need to increase our key interest a lot, but our top priority is to print more banknotes. Probably that one. Uh, financial markets are right to assume that inflation will remain low and stay for the next 10 years. Apologies, let's do a job, right? Yeah, it's that one. You need to print more banknotes. Oh, yeah. Get your coat. Fuck off. Okay, so people are kicking the shit out of this bank right now. This zombie lady wants me to read her things. A customers are satisfied. No. Increase number of customers want to know. Okay. Brown out bank soon. I'm exhausted. Probably that one. Let's make everyone as miserable as possible. Hyperinflation. This game's easy. Basically, what you do is you just go to a place and you just pick the thing that's the most miserable. Wages can't keep up with the sharp prices. After paying for food and other essentials, people have less money for holidays. Something about people losing their jobs. Loans and mortgages. Money is losing its value quickly. That's the one. Crime and violence. There we go. Just a bus drives away. Good. Just a bit of paper goes flying around. What the hell is that? I don't know, but I clicked it. Oh, it's there. These jokers may help you. These jokers won't. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, we manage all right. That's not the right one. Hyperinflation, not fun. That's all you need to know. That's the only thing you need. Hyperinflation, not fun. And the final results are, there we go, 15 out of 15. I made everyone ridiculously miserable. Hyperinflation, it's something you don't really want to come to your town. Like, um, bunch of scary nighttime clowns. Or Jim Davidson. And finally, Christ, on a bicycle, that's a noise. Oh, look, this guy's looking really sinister. This isn't from the, oh my god, he's nicked a woman. And these two people are after the woman. Right, okay, this actually looks like a proper game. This isn't the ECB, no banks here. This is actually a website dedicated to the new European banknotes. Seriously, they made a game for that. Right, do I want to play as Alex or Anna? I'm going to play as Anna because I couldn't be bothered to move my mouse over to the right for Alex. Seriously, I don't want to like, tilt my head over slightly. Because then I'd be worried that, like, all the information that we've gained today would pour out of my ear hole. Alright, and after a ridiculously long loading time, we are in! Uh, we can move left and right, we can jump! We can, for some reason, do Law's back kick from Tekken. Oh, I actually quite like that, I can spin it as well. Whoa! That's what if you want to do if you want to kick multiple people who are around you. Uh, so yes, this is a very standard platformer thing. Ooh, where you can just backflip at any time. What's this do? Whose portrait appears on the new- Oh god, more fucking EU questions! Although I will say, if it's a EU banknote, probably not the Statue of Liberty, probably Princess Europa. There we go, good. <laughs> 5,000 points. A portrait shows of the new banknotes because it's obviously linked to the content of Europe and has a human touch to the banknotes. Yes, a human touch, because we're all, deep down, princesses. Oh, there's a treasure chest there, how do I get up there? Oh god, there's no indication of what I can work on or not. Oh, that's in the background. Okay, we're gonna go around. I want to open that thing. Which image on the new 20 pound banknote shows the emerald number? What? Which image on the new 20 euro banknote shows the emerald number? I assume it'd be a tiny bank. What's an emerald? It's one. Right, emerald number. The shiny number in the bottom left corner. Yeah, but the clue there was that that one said 20. Oh, what's in here? <gasps> it's a note! I collected it, I think. It just sort of faded from existence. Okay, anyway. Oh, there's another one! Oh, that one! It's exploded. It's made me... Hang on. Is that a good thing? I'm sparkly now. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? I genuinely don't know. Well, that's fallen down there. I'm assuming that's a good thing. Backflip! Yeah! Oh. 
fell through that. I do love a game that looks like it was made in fucking click and play. <laughs> do you remember click and play? Jesus. Which coin is from Luxembourg? Well, that's Irish, so that one with Luxembourg written on it. I feel like I feel like the level of quiz has dropped off substantially from the last few games we've been playing. All right, chest. Oh, it's in the middle. It's a mimic. I went for the backflip and got it. Game's got fucking mimics in it. Oh, it's that guy we got to beat up. Ha! We are. Wha? Wha? Ha! Is that killing him? I don't... There we go. Yeah, I killed that guy. Right, cool. I've killed a guy now. This is teaching me about the new banknotes. I guess that was that well done. Which coin is from Slovakia? Well, let's read, shall we? And it says, slow, well, that'll do me. Clicking. Yep, 5,000 points. Thank you very much. Backflip. Oh, I missed all them, but I got the chest, which had a big banknote in it. Oh, wonderful. Backflip. Nice. And then down. Oh, boo. Horrible level design. Boo. Anyway, that was uh, European games about European things. And I'm going to jump down here and... Stay down that one, apparently. There we go. There's a good solid game over. Yeah, that was... An interesting journey into learning about interest rates and the Euro. Uh, a bit late now for England for, for me to be learning about that. But I figured I might as well have a look at those because uh, other games are done. You never know, that might start a trend. Fucking, you know, like PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye. They'll be doing their Eurozone video game based videos coming up with their face cams and their faces on the thumbnail and all that stuff all that stuff guarantee that happened but no seriously i can't believe you watched this entire fucking video i really can't the nerd cube the nerd cube ah. the nerd who the nerd cube